really quick video just because it's been brought to my attention by a few people over the last few days that there's a company called Bright Modest that are using uh, my footage of me using my car dampler to try and sell a different car dampler, um, a worse one, and they're charging more money than you'd pay for this, at least in the UK. Uh, sometimes the price of this varies a bit in America, but the point is that they're using my content without my permission, of course, and without crediting me, and also without explaining how the dent puller works. Um, so if you buy one from them, you're paying too much for something that you could buy from Amazon or from a car hardware store. Um, very easy to come by car dent pullers. They're calling it a glazing puller, glaze master trademark, which, I mean, it's, it's all very scammy website. Their behavior is despicable. Uh, but the point is that they're doing a lot of adverts on Facebook and Instagram at the moment. So you might well have seen footage of me using this, um, but trying to sell something else. So the reason that you don't want their one or you don't want to buy their one from them, other than the fact that they're charging too much for it, is that they don't explain how to use it properly. This one I know works. So great little dent puller. Yeah, it can hold, I've tested it up to five kilos and I've done thousands of pots with it. This is the, the original one I bought. It's not wearing out, it's not going to for some time. Um, and I know that it won't drop pots without user error, so it's it's good. Their one, I've tried one similar to that and it didn't work from the off. Other people have had bad experiences with them. So it's not worth buying a cheap one, particularly not if you're gonna be using it a decent amount. But moreover, if you do buy a cheap one, if you have bought one from them, what you need to know is that you have to wax resist the bottom of the pot first. This needs to stick to something that's non-porous. So obviously it sticks to the wheel head fantastically. If I, well, firstly, obviously, it's not gonna suck to a sponge because it can't create a seal. Even if it could create a seal around the edge, it's not gonna create a seal through it. Uh, bisque wear is porous, that's how it takes up the glaze. When you apply a glaze, it sucks the water in from it. Um, and that means air can come through. So this won't seal against bisque wear. You also need to make sure you don't put it over any gaps like that. So if air is coming through that channel, as you'd expect, it can't create a seal. So there are a few, and then obviously you need the surface of your pot level and smooth enough that it can create a, a seal. So there are a few caveats to how you can use it and they provide none of that information. And the reason they don't provide that information is because they're just a, a reseller of stuff that they've found from a Chinese marketplace. They're, I don't know if they're buying it in cheap and getting it shipped in and then distributing it in, in the US or if they're drop selling or what. But the point is, they have no idea how it works because that's not what they do. They've just seen this and thought, well, here's something similar that we can sell. So they're using my content because it shows it working to sell something that they can't tell you how to use. And if you just use it without that information, it won't work. So hopefully none of you have bought one off the back of that. If you do want to know what this one is, I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a link to my full video explaining in detail how to use it and demonstrating it. But if you have bought one of theirs, follow the link to how best to use it and um, you should be probably okay because even the cheap dent pullers work most of the time. Um, I, I'm not gonna say this is the best dent puller. All I know is that this is the best one I've ever used and I have used it for a few years now and it's done thousands of pots. And yeah, I think I paid nine pounds for it. So it's worth its weight in gold. I buy another one of these in a heartbeat. I know sometimes these are more expensive to get in America because it's a UK brand and they're imported. So either wait until they become cheaper or just buy one of the ones from Amazon or a hardware store, the cheaper ones and give it a go because there's, there's still not a lot of money. But um, yeah, that someone told me these are currently up on Amazon for $19 plus $19 shipping. So a bit more pricey. I still think 
bearing in mind you're going to be holding a pot with it for the risk of dropping a pot and it wouldn't just be one pot, it would be periodically dropping pots if the other dent puller isn't reliable. Um, $19 plus $19 shipping will probably pay for itself quite quickly. But um, that's entirely up to you. But the point is, don't just use one from their website. Well, don't buy one from their website because it's a scummy thing to do. And they're, even though I have now filed all the takedowns, they're putting ads back up that slightly rework the content so that it doesn't fall foul of the filters and I have to resubmit a uh, DMCA takedown each time. So they know what they're doing, they're scummy about it. Yeah, that's fine, that's, I'm not too worried about that. What is annoying me is that they're using pictures of this dent puller to sell a visibly different dent puller with no instructions. So you're not gonna get what you see unless you look at the pictures where they show the one you're gonna get the one in the video is mine, and you can buy that, um, but not from them.